Hi guys, welcome back to AQA Certificate Further Mathematics GCSE. Today we're on Chapter 8.3, Tangents and Normals. This is a great A star video, so I hope you enjoy it, and let's get started. So, two things that you might actually know is, well, one of them you sure should know by now is uh, that the gradient of tangents um, and normal will multiply to negative one uh, because they're perpendicular and um, as we know from previous um, chapters that uh, if there is a cross uh, on the graph paper then the two gradients will multiply to negative one and that's true for any um, uh, perpendicular lines so yeah that should be a known fact and uh, you will learn how to apply the gradient function and the to use the general straight line equation that we know from well a long time ago to actually combine these two things and find normals and uh, tangents of a curve. So this is an example that I'm going to show you and this is to find the equation of a tangent line at point 2.53 on the curve y equals 3x to the power 4 plus 2x squared minus 3. Um, discla uh, disclaimer, this uh, question is actually um, made up from myself, by myself, not from myself. Um, so um, this turns out to be quite an interesting <laughs> result, but it's really not that um, good, <laughs> but doesn't matter. So um, what you need to remember is of course how to differentiate and how do you use, well, what is the general equation for straight lines and because tangents and um, normals are all straight lines so you can just adapt this equation on it and when we do at the point then we know it's definitely uh, they share the same point on two, well on this equation and on this equation so we can just substitute the x and y values so now we need gradient and the c that we need uh, determines the height of the graph. So gradient we learned that it um, can be found by using differentiation by finding the uh, gradient function and subs uh, substituting the x value at that point which is 2. So um, well, I'll put that onto the screen so that you can drop that down and what we'll find is actually um, first you will have to find the gradient function which is um, conveniently I differentiated it for you so uh, it's 12x cubed plus 4x and now you need to um, substitute the point uh, the x value into it and obviously the point if you can read the coordinates you know that x is 2 so when you put 2 into this uh, equation you naturally find um, well um, first of all you have to um, label that uh, because it's a bit clearer and so x is equal to 2 and when you substitute it into the equation you get um, 104 and that is also equal to m which is used in this equation so basically the uh, gradient function after substituting the x will become m which is the gradient and so we now know the gradient is 104 which is um, really steep and um, we can complete that um, equation uh, y equals mx by one step 
y equals 1 over 4 x plus c. So what do we do now? Well, um, we've done this, um, put the gradient onto the equation itself, then now we're just gonna um, substitute coordinates onto the equation. So we know that y equals 53, x equals 2, so we just put them well, together. Then we'll find that um, 104 times 2 well, plus c equals to 53. So let me clean up the screen a bit uh, to uh, spare off some space and I will um, give you the answer. So hopefully now it's a bit clearer and what do you need to do last is actually to find c and finish off that um, y equals mx plus c equation and obviously you can just rearrange that like you how you do in linear equations and so the answer would be negative 155 and so what you need is because you have c you have the equation uh, y equals mx plus c um let me put it back uh, for your reference and because you have this equation, you can just put in the gradient we know and the c we know to find um, y equals 104x minus 155 and that would be the gradient oh, well, that would be the equation of the tangent um, note that um, these questions are made up by myself, so um, these won't be particularly interesting and beautiful um, answers, so yeah, bear that in mind. So let's go on to question 2. And now uh, we're going to do normals, and it's generally the same as uh, doing tangents, instead you have another step. Uh, it's to use the um, knowledge that um, perpendicular lines multiplies to a negative 1 or negative 1 divides one of them will make the other gradient. So that sounds a bit um, complicated but it's not really that complicated. First of all, find the gradient function as we do which is 4 minus 2x and according to the x value 3 we know it's 4 minus 3 times 2 which is negative 2 so these, uh, this will go to this one and what does that achieve? That uh, well it doesn't achieve anything because that is the gradient of the um, thing <laughs> the gradient of the tangent what you need to do to find normal is to divide uh, 1 by the gradient of uh, the tangent which um, I will note as um, n dy over dx and this is the normal gradient okay just let it be I, I do it that way if you have another way of doing it or you just write a long word normal it's fine do negative 1 divide by negative 2 and you shall get half hopefully you get that and now we have the normal um, gradient and what do we need to do now? Um, same thing really um, you've got the point you've got gradient you just need to again substitute everything onto the equation get this out of the way and remember x becomes 3 so 3 times halves is 3 halves which is 3 over 2 and what you need to do is just 
rearranging and at this point um doesn't really matter if it's a decimal or a fraction as long as it looks all right and should be fine so yeah that is the um equation for the tangent uh the normal of this particular curve so i've got um pretty much no tips but really because it's quite uh, straightforward and factual just remember that normal is perpendicular to tangent or the other way around because um, you normally find tangent first and um, they uh, the gradients multiply to negative one is really what you need and yeah that's really it so um, let's go to some questions so I'm a bit lazy here and didn't type everything onto every like every line, but I labeled each of the um important bits in a bracket and labeled them A, B, and C. So you can just read off it and just yeah, basically answer the complete questions. So in the count of five, I release the answers and um yeah. Good luck with that. In five, four, three, two, one. Finally, answers. Um, it's not that hard, is it? I really think you should be able to get full four out of four. Uh, for this one because it's a lot more straightforward than um just learning the concept of differentiation and once you learned it once you've learned it it's just simple and easy so yeah that's the end of this episode and hope you enjoy it and if you do leave me a comment and or like and subscribe for more of these videos and i will see you next time